We're here at another transformational project right here in the heart of San Antonio, the Anaguana Gardens and Hemisphere Park. As you can see in here, there's lots of activity as we get this park ready for its next phase. Let's find out from Omar Gonzalez, Real Estate Director with Hemisphere, of what's coming up in the future. Omar, thanks so much for being with us here today. My pleasure, Laura. There's a lot of excitement, construction going on. Can you tell us a bit about what's happening behind us? For sure, we're actually extending East Nueva Street from South Alamo, eventually to the base of the Tower of the Americas. So it'll be a great pedestrian way to get all the way to UNAM Instituto and all these great institutions that we have at Hemisphere. That's great, and we're here in Yanaguana Gardens today. Can you tell us a bit about how this project came to be? This was actually part of the 2012 bond. So $15 million was allocated towards Hemisphere Parks and a big chunk of that was spent here at Yanaguana Garden, making it a truly accessible place for people of all ages, all abilities, and from all parts of the city. So I'm happy to report that in the first year we've had over 500,000 visitors and from all 10 council districts we've had have, have visitors. Great, and this was a partnership with our state legislature, is that right? How did that come to be? That is true. Uh, the way that we you can rededicate parkland uh, for a city is to either take it through state legislation or take it to the voters. We opted to go through the state legislation process. It was kind of a no-brainer to go from, if you remember this area was fairly unusable, mm -hmm. to actually becoming usable and becoming dedicated, getting three times the amount of park land that we used to have. Thanks to our delegation for helping us with that. And this park has lots of accessible features as you mentioned, so do you want to go take a look at what we have? Yeah, let's do it. So in front of us, we have a climbing structure and it's for all ages and all abilities. And in fact, the entire park is built to accommodate people, what we call pre-K to gray. And you can see over here on the right-hand side, we have disc swings. I've seen as many as nine teenagers on that disc swing before. And as you walk this way, you'll notice the safety surface here we have is a really squishy, kind of oh, feels yeah. like you're walking on a cloud surface. It's like a moon bounce here, I like that. <laughs> Now this park has a lot of cool public art features that tell a story. What story is it telling us? Well, this is my favorite three pieces because it tells the story of Yanaguana. Uh, the name itself is from the Indian tribe, the Payaya Indians, and it's the story about how an Anhinga bird went into a blue hole and came out chased by a blue panther. Great, and now there's a lot more to this park, to Hemisphere, besides the Yanaguana Park. Um, what else can you tell us about what's coming up for the future? Phase two, which is nine acres, so more than twice the size of Yanaguana Garden, and we're calling it Civic Park for now, is in design, and we will start construction on that very shortly. And I would love to even go up top and show you a great perspective of it from up there. Let's go take a look. So here you get a bird's eye view of phase two and this is where Civic Park will be. It cleared the old western part of the convention center. So we have nine acres of park coming here soon and five and a half acres for public-private partnership development. Can you tell us about how the two work together and what benefits it brings to the community? So nine acres of this land is dedicated as parkland and will be throughout the history of time. What we did on the edge is we've allowed for uh, private-public partnership development and all the lease revenues that come from that P3 go back into the park. So it's truly a virtuous cycle. Now, Omar, what's the timeline for this project? When can we see this complete? We're starting construction really soon. We're gonna hit a pause button, celebrate NCAA Final Four and the Tricentennial, and then we're gonna go at it again, hoping to be done by 2020 for Civic Park. And then for the P3 that's on the edge, we're looking at 2021. And a lot of planning went into deciding how this site was gonna be used. Can you tell us a bit about the public involvement that came into this? For sure, the design actually started with the 2012 bond. And so the public process between that bond and now, we've had a series of public engagement meetings uh, and we're always accessible whether it's online or social media. And those community meetings are gonna keep going throughout this bond process. We invite folks to visit www.sanantonio.gov slash 2017 bond to find out more. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Omar. We can't wait to see what else is in store for Hemisphere, and we'll be sure to catch up with you for more updates. My pleasure, Laura. Thanks.